they do also have super quick autofocus. Oh my gosh. it's your girl Maya Chanel and welcome back to the channel as you can see from the title we're gonna get right into things jumpstart real quick because we are reviewing our brand new Sony ZV-1 as you know I'm usually a Canon girl but I just had to try out this Sony because they've been raving about the specs of this and saying that it's the best vlogging camera there is so if I want to bring you guys quality vlogs, then I just had to test it out for myself. So um, some of the specs that you can see so far are um, when you open this, the, the screen flips out to the side and it automatically turns the camera on, which is pretty cool. I haven't explored it yet to see if that's an option that you can turn on and off, but very cool. And you can flip the screen any way you want, have it where it's just out like that. You can close it in the back. Um, some other, at the top, you can see the record button, the record button here, the picture shutter button here, photo shutter with the zoom in and out, and then here is the background, focus, focus, like basically blurring or unblurring your background. Now, I've tested that out and it's not necessarily a huge difference in the blur, but you can see the, the difference to say the least. Um, one thing about this is it's not touchscreen. So I think in today's world of technology, that is a huge downfall, but I think it makes up for the other features that plays in this camera. So on here, you also have your mold button, which I did not show earlier, your mold button. So um, we'll get into that later when we switch to filming with this camera. But you can see there are functions here and you can see my face. Okay, so you can see like the different functions here. So your wheel to spin and select things and select okay, your trash functions menu. You can um, put up a hook up a mic to this camera which is very good um we do want clear audio hdmi port it comes with a charging cable um the batteries are pretty small for this so yeah this does get you know it's sold separately so it does detach comes out as a tripod this is the battery very very small so it tells you that there is very limited battery life on this so you gotta have backups it is a must so we're gonna get into it with this camera and i'm gonna switch to our sony zv1 now what's up everybody so we are now on the sony zv1 and as you can see i have my beauty effect on right now which gives you a crisp clean super flawless beauty filter over your face like one of those Instagram or Photoshop filters and you don't even have to worry so this is on the setting high right now but I can adjust it so before I had it on high and this now as you can see is on the setting low for the beauty effect um so far so good they do also have super quick autofocus oh my gosh that's a big 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 plus um some other things that i do love about this camera is just it's very lightweight so when vlogging that is a huge plus i can also zoom in zoom in with my Bluetooth handheld tripod. I do want to go outside and test out a few things just lighting wise. I feel like the lighting on this is very good. It captures things. Let me, so this is without the filter. So as you can see, it still looks 
amazing. Um, we're gonna go outside for a second and see how this thing works with and without our wind blocker. So let's try it out. As you can see, I am outside now and it's a pretty nice angle. I must admit it is pretty wide coverage, which I like. I guess I'm gonna be able to see if the wind is picked up or not by topping this on there or if you can hear the birds or anything by placing this on there and once I edit I'll be able to tell the difference so this is without the wind blocker now I'm going to install the wind blocker so now I've put my wind blocker on and here is the difference so as you can see other features that this this camera showcases are the beauty showcase filters. So let's say you're doing a morning routine or if you're a beauty vlogger or if you're simply just trying to show off different products or things that you would like for your audience to see. It has a beauty effect where it captures things really close. So basically how my hand is the main focus right now and the back is blurred out and as soon as I take my hand away, it is back on me so i think that's super important as well um the lighting on this is really really good just simply for the fact that anywhere i go i look amazing i'm really loving this camera right now so we're gonna head to another spot right now and talk about some more specs in the back of my house where i usually get a lot of wind sound so I'm going to try out the wind blocker here and this is without the wind blocker and let's try it with it so this is with the wind blocker let me know if you guys can hear a difference comment below let me know your thoughts some things I do like about this this tripod or handle is that you can tilt it um, and you can actually spin the camera around on it which is really convenient sometimes if it's on tripod mode. Um, one thing I don't like about it is if I sit it down on the table, then it'll be too low and looking at me from beneath my face when I would like a direct angle. So I do wish that it was adjustable in height. That is one of the only downfalls I see of this handle. It's very easy lightweight to handle and carry as well as comfortable for grips point view so those are just a few specs of this camera and there's honestly a whole lot to go through that i don't think we can go through in this video so stay tuned for my next video where i compare the sony zv1 with the canon mark three g7x because i haven't seen any out there yet but i know that those are two of the top vlogging cameras right now and i would love to see the comparison of these so stay tuned for the next video make sure you like comment and subscribe to join the tribe see you later